These meetings are televised, so when you approach the podium, please let us know who you are and the business you represent. And if you haven't already turned off your cell phones, we'd ask you please to turn your cell phones off. Uh, we're going to ask Cindy Ritz to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Cindy? You're sure I know it, right? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, everybody ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Cindy. Amen. Okay, we have four applications tonight, so we'll get started with our first one. It's DRB 2014-07, the application of Mainline Center for the Family Building at 901 Glenbrook Avenue in Bryn Mawr for a freestanding sign. It doesn't look like they're here tonight, so we'll jump over to number two, which is DRB 2014-08, the application of Plank Studio at 530 West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for a wall sign and a ground sign. Hi there. Hi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Bob Whalen. I'm one of the owners of 530 West Lancaster Ave. And uh, I'm here with Hillary Ryan, who is our tenant uh, with HER Plank, Plank Studio. And we're very excited that she's gonna be opening a Pilates studio on the second floor of our Great. building. And we're uh, happy to give you a presentation tonight. Super, thank you. We have an officer on today. <laughs> Okay. When you're done with your um, application, if you just want to let us or tell us a little bit about Plank Studio. Okay. All right. So we'll uh, Thank you. get the sign work out of the way first. Okay. 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 I'm sorry, Bob. You want to use a handheld? Yes, That'd be easier for you. Okay. The first picture we'd like to show you tonight is the front facade of the building. The overall dimensions are 94 feet, six and a half inches, with a height of 31 feet. The sign that we're proposing is 29 feet, 29.6 square feet. And that's on the front left facade. The dimensions of that sign are 97 inches by 40 six inches yeah the, um, you, didn't, you didn't have it in your notes here but do you have the letter height we, we were just talking about that we attempted to contact uh, the sign uh, designer we, we think that the the larger letters are roughly 34 inches if you try to scale that in your mind okay. I, I know it's Square footage wise, if you add up the three signs that are on there, you, you do meet code? Yes, we do. Barely, but you do meet. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the height, you're okay. You're allowed 15 foot from grade. Mm -hmm. So yes. you're, you're okay there. Um, and the materials themselves are individually mounted letters? Yes, we've chosen not to use a raceway because we think it looks nicer to directly affix the letters to the building. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the top of the word plank will be even with sleepies and the Cody's? Will it straight across? Yes, okay. ma'am. That'd be great. No. So Cody, Cody's on sleepies is on a straight line? It they were supposed to be on a straight line. I remember when the application came in. Okay. It's Bob, didn't you come in with sleepies? I did, yes. I came in before sleepies. At, you came in before for sleepies or before? Before sleepies. Yes. So, you remember the conversation about Bob, the letter height? Bob I know. I'm just asking you if you remember. I really don't. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, I put it out there. Go ahead. <laughs> we really haven't allowed any letters those large, I, that large. I, and I understand that this is a huge building. Your sign is very tasteful. It looks great. I like the colors and the, and the fonts. Um, we haven't allowed any letters larger than I think 18. Uh, I mean, even C, you know some of the other establishments on Lancaster Avenue have all been kept smaller. Um, I know shrinking those letters down is going to make the sign not not look as important on the building. 
So I'm not really sure how to address that. But if we do this size letter, you know, across the street at the, there's a spa across the street, we made them bring their, we've made everyone bring their letter size down. I don't know what the largest letter we have in the township is. I'm not sure. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know either, but what, we have what Sleepy's was given right. 13 inches, 13.5 maybe? I think, I think it was 18, Cindy. 18? Oh, good. Yeah. That's what I was, okay, sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want it to be 13, but. A, a lot depends, too, on how far these businesses sit off of Route 30. So that building's pretty much right on top of Route 30, you know, as compared to down the old Acme Center where those stores are set way up, you know, back. We try to give them a little larger letter. I understand. Yeah. Okay, actually, I think we approved 16 inches for Sleepy's. Mm. Now, and I'm not sure what the letter size is that's on the wall there. Um, there might have been... I, w I wouldn't have put up larger than what... What? I would not have put up larger than what you approved. Oh, no, I don't mean that you would have. I was wondering, there's no line under the word Sleepy's. And when the application originally came, there was a second line, like a little tagline on there. So I... I know that was removed, and I don't know if that was, you know, asking for some relief in letter size. And we have the, it's this one, Cody. Yeah. It's Cody's letter size. I think it was just Do you know, um, Ray, whether or not Sleepy's, when they came in, I think they're, I don't have my original. I think it said Sleepy's, like, you know. Uh, each line. Man. Could have said a good night's sleep or something underneath. The mattress professional, maybe. The mattress professional. And that, I think that was removed, and maybe the letter size was made a little larger. I mean, the, the problem is I would immediately say, let's make these letters smaller, but plank is a short word. <laughs> right. How can you make it more important on the building? May I ask a question? Oh, yeah, it's your business. Is the, would 16 inches mean from the top of the K to the bottom of the O? No, top of the K to the bottom of the K. Okay. Yeah. So I think we usually tell people this is, these are 12 inch, just to give you a sense. Okay. Um, since it is such a short word, is could we, could we ask for some relief on that? Well, it'll, it'll meet square footage. So even at this size, it meets square footage. So yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that your logo, pretty much? Yes. That's and that the proportion logo. and everything. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm more warming up to it now that I know it's now that I know it's your logo. I right. think it would look fine larger than the sleepies, just because it would balance with. I mean, Cody lighting mm -hmm. the overall. Yeah, scale of that is deeper than Sleepy's, and so I think because plank is shorter and it's on the other side balancing the Cody lighting, they could go taller than, I mean, I think it would, maybe not quite as large, but I think some relief. When did, when do you think Sleepy's went in there? What? What month? Yeah, or, yeah. Or they, they went in in March. Okay, so I was just looking to see if I have that. Um, well, here's, here's the township paperwork. No, I want to see my notes. Okay. About what. Brian, what do, you, what do you think on this? I, I do think because it's a sh it's a shorter sign, it has less of an impact. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just looking at this elevation. What what's being shown doesn't look um, it doesn't look bigger than the other two signs. It doesn't look bigger than right. Sleepy's or Cody Lighting. Tony, they're, they're I, I actually letters. think it looks great. I just think that we've been we've kind of hung our hats on this sign it this sign at the height and when you came I know we had a long discussion about you know you were representing your tenant and doing a good job of it as you know the, as the big drugstore what Rite Aid did when they came in and wanted 30 inch letters and every and so I would like to you know if it was just my town I'd say okay let's just do that for you and then when these people come we'll do something different so okay. you're uh, you're the the property owner how would you feel if we you know we, we really said no to you with sleepies um, well, I served uh, on the zoning hearing board in Tredifferent for two years and, and then seven on the planning commission in Tredifferent and was mm -hmm. the chair in, in yeah. 11 and 12. And I would, I would say every situation is different. And, you know, we really want Hillary to be successful. And I know you do, too. You don't yes. want businesses um, coming and going and Radnor. So I would just ask, that, you know, that you consider every situation and um, you know, can do whatever you can to, to make Hillary successful. Right. right. I do want to see, you know. Could the outline of the sign meet the square foot? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, that's kind of a muted sign. The colors are, you know, okay, I don't Curie know Spa across yeah. the street. Those are pretty big letters. 
it's 16 inches. That's according to what I have from the notes okay. for Curie Spa. Just to um, give us a sense of what, how well, it's just that your wall is so big. But Curie is big too, it's just they have more st stuff going on with their 16 inches. I, um, so would you consider going straight line on the building or not? Mm. I think aesthetically it probably looks better the way you're presenting it. It looks better it. the way it's yeah. presented too. Aesthetically, the logo typically studio would be under the Okay, line. okay. And it does look better the way you're I, I, it. I, I agree. In this case, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Do you think this is in proportion, no, what we're seeing is what we're, what we're, going, or we're going to get? Yes, sir. Okay. I do. All right. Well, I, th I think I'd like to see them a little. I mean, I, they're like 30 inches. So, 44 total. So you're saying plank is approximately 34 <coughs> inches. So the studio must be. That, w that was my calibrated eyebrow. Okay. Well, here's something else you might consider since plank is such bold letters. Maybe you could bring that down some and increase the size on studio um, and stretch it out so that it's almost, fl I mean, I don't want to be your designer, I'm just, at all. You have a good, obviously a good designer, things work out well, but maybe you could stretch studio out to fit inside the word, the end of the beginning of the P, the end of the K, and um, then those word, those letters would stand out a little more. I mean, when I think of 30 inches, if this is 12, if Curie Spa is 16, mm -hmm. if Cody's is even 18, you're going to be another 10, 12 right. inches larger at least. That's big. Yeah, that's a big difference. Okay, I've said my piece. <laughs> Cody had huge and letters from I, the, I, on the building. Right. Cody had, well, that was some kind of 1950s were, was, thing. Yeah, that was going way back. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so Tony, you, you're kind of okay with it? Um, Sure, I'd like to see the letters smaller, mm -hmm. but it's okay. muted and it is a logo. Mm -hmm. And I think it looks all right on the building. Yeah, it's such a big building. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, that's the thing, it's such yeah. a big building. Lisa. I'd be inclined to let it go. Lisa. Okay. I'm I'm okay with it. I mean I was I was trying to figure out what the height if the height of Cody lighting with I mean those two pieces were together roughly the same height as the plank or I mean I just there uh, I just saw it in there I think they're totaled about 24 and a half inches okay and, then, and uh, that doesn't include the space between the, the two lines but so let's let's just say 30 so the two together are probably a little less than the plank by themselves so I was oh, I was thinking it makes sense to have the height of plank match the Cody lighting height the, the height yes just to balance it right I don't think it would make it that much smaller okay yeah, I think that's a good idea so the bottom of the bottom of the word plank would line up with the bottom of the Cody the of the uh, second line I can't read it what does the second line and say shades go, I think. oh and shades go yeah so if, if you fit in between the top of plank you're saying the top of the that matching the top of Cody lighting and the Mm -hmm. Just so those two lines. Yeah, and made. then have, and then studio under mm -hmm. still underneath, yeah. like you have it. That to me that would like aesthetically. Aesthetically, mm -hmm. but I don't think it would make it that much smaller. Maybe okay. it, I don't know if that. I th I agree. Works. I think that would, and I think there's space nicely on the building, mm -hmm. and it it balances the building to have a, si a substantial sign on that end. Okay, Brian. Yeah, I I think it's a nice sign. I think it fits in. I guess our only reservation would be to allow something bigger than we have in the past, mm -hmm. but it's not fair to. And that's not fair to limit her. It's not fair to hold back. Mm -hmm. It's a nice sign. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm fine with it. Okay. I think our support on this going forward is the fact that the building is yeah. so big. Yeah, actually, if yeah. you look at the Wawa and Wayne, those letters are huge. Of course, yeah. it's only four letters on a big building. Yeah, and that's and, their logo. And, and this yeah. is the logo, that's and why. A, and it's a logo, and it looks proportional right. to the building. You know. Okay, I'm done on this one. I okay, so, all right, we're going to be okay with this then. You, do you want to suggest that they fit within the Cody Lighting and Shades well, Company? Why don't, do you want to mention that to them and see if oh. they're agreeable? How do you feel about having the word plank fit within the same um, top and bottom line as Cody Lighting and Shades Company? I don't know if that, that would shrink you much. I, I mean, to me it's fine. Mm -hmm. 
designed it, it'll even out both sides of the building mm -hmm. height-wise, so they're all on the same plane. Yeah. As long as it's okay that studio is Studio is going to drop below it. And, and that works because it's much more open and airy. And studio is unlit as well, so mm -hmm. okay. at least all three will be lit same size on the same line. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, so plank will be lit, studio will not? Yes. Okay. All right, that's good. That'll look good. Okay, so we're all right with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, you also have your ground sign. Yes. That looks great. I've got the good. I like that. We wanted to be careful about how we direct the tenants to the parking, and that's why we took up two entire blocks with directions. <clears throat> your clients. I, mean, I didn't I, know there was parking good. behind there. I didn't either. There are. There, there are ten spaces behind there. Well, huh. Bob, let me ask you this. Will this max the building out? Yes, this completes the building. Okay, so basically you have two extra panels. We did, yes. Okay. Um, so those are directional signs. Yeah, it, it, according to the code, it doesn't meet code, you know, what? under the strict rules of a ground sign. But, um, I mean, what would look better, two empty panels or I'd rather see text? that than an extra sign that says parking in rear. I, you know, I'd rather see it this on a... Yeah, and not too empty. Right, or, or, or auxiliary sign. It, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's just funny okay. signs. I mean, right, we okay with that? If, okay. Can, can you it's a little confusing that it's broken up into yeah. two. I mean, yeah. it's like two different messages. Yeah. Could you make it one, just another panel, a solid panel? Uh, oh, yeah, bottom? straight across? Just straight across parking and entrance. I think it would read quicker and easier for people. I understand. Have. I'm sorry, I know. We can do that, yes. <laughs> okay. I guess you're going to have to retrofit the sign a little bit, right? Take out that metal bracket? We do. Okay. All right. Is the text okay? Yeah, make it one message. Yeah. 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 Yes, parking and entrance on the top line in rear of building on the bottom. Okay. Mm -hmm. just I mean, just clear. thinking of myself driving by, I would mm -hmm. get that quicker. Okay. I, I, you know what I was thinking about this? I, hopefully that's been opaque backgrounds on that sign. I haven't looked. I, I meant to go by at nighttime. Do you know, Bob? I do, yes. Only the letters are lit. Great. And we'll keep it the Great. same with the sign. Yes, sir. Okay. And are you going to light the bottom panel also or just, I guess you're going to have to mm -hmm. keep it uniform. Mm -hmm. Okay. So same thing, <coughs> opaque background on, on all the panels. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. And what, ready? I, I, I don't, if you, do you plan on doing anything in the windows up top? No. No? Okay, good. All right. Not like it. Okay, great. All right. Any other questions or comments? Are you playing? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is well, your tell own. us a little bit about what your business is. So I um, am the owner and founder of Plank. I'm an instructor, um, and we are exclusively Pennsylvania's first mega former studio. So we offer mega former Pilates, which is new to this area and um, unique to our studio. We also offer TRX and cardio mat Pilates. Great. So hopefully we will be open in April. Great. Good luck. Thank you. How much yeah. space Good. do you have up there? Does it, uh, it's a lot. You have a, we a have lot of machines? We have 6,300 square feet. So we have oh, 10, wow. we offer wow. 10 individual, 10 person group classes, one private class, and then um, the smaller TRX and cardio mat only have about six to eight people when we can accommodate them. And do you have a number of instructors, or are you? We have nine instructors, including myself, and two front desk girls. Oh, wow. And can you, can you schedule appointments or class online? Scheduling is all, most we encourage you to schedule online because mm -hmm. we assume the classes will fill up, or I hope mm -hmm. the classes will mm -hmm. fill up. Um, Walk-ins are welcome, but we encourage online signups, and we offer apparel. There are no showers at our facility or daycare, but. Wait, there are no, or there are? Oh, yeah. There are not showers mm -hmm. or daycare at our facility. Okay. <laughs> So you're you're in business now. This is a relocation. No, this is my first studio. Oh, it's your first studio. Great. Yes, I used to work on Wall Street for seven years, and then I moved here to start this. Great. I always want to ask, luck. where do people do Pilates training? Is there a Pilates center or? There are several. There are Pilates centers, and mm -hmm. also some studios offer individual training. Mm -hmm. So I trained at a traditional classical Pilates mm -hmm. studio in New York. Um, for our studio, because it's unique to the area. We have someone flying in from LA next week to train everyone. Cool. Well, we should hope everybody heard that at home. So you do both yeah. individuals and groups? We do, yes. 
and we're open from 6 to 1 p.m. and then 4 to 8 p.m. Great. Good luck. Thank you. Make a motion. No. Would you like to make that? No. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And the grand opening is April 7. And on April 3rd, we have a preview party with press, if anyone would like to join. And we've already been written up in Philadelphia Magazine, and the Inquirer comes on March 31st. Great. Exciting. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, okay. good luck. Thank you. Okay. Well, yeah, welcome. Thank right. you. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, would you please? Thanks. Find it out. Okay. Okay, let's see if I in the manner of DRB 2014-08 Plank Studio at 530 West Lancaster Avenue. I move that we accept the design as submitted with the suggestion that the word plank fit into the, the horizontal space that is created by Cody Lighting and sh Lamp Shade, and Lamp Company, and Shade <laughs> Company, excuse me, and that the word studio hang below there. Um, and I also move that we approve the monument sign and that the directional part of the monument sign be two separate lines in one panel. Opaque. Opaque. Okay. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Next is DRB 2014 09, the application of Vist Bank at 600 West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for five ground signs and four wall signs. Hi there. Hi. And I know you've been before us before. Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, last year, about the same time for the I, same location. I thought you were. OK. And, and your name is? <laughs> My name is Wendy Kern, and I'm with Bartush Signs. And we are the sign company that's handling the changeover for Vist Bank. Great. OK. All right, why don't you just uh, walk us through? I think it's. Did a nice application here, so it should be relatively easy. Yes. Thank you. Okay, the first sign uh, is the monument sign out front. Uh, again, all of the signs are staying uh, structurally the same. We're just changing the face placements like we did last time uh, to, of course, change their name uh, to Tompkins Vist Bank from the Vist Bank of Tompkins community. Um, this one will also have the opaque background with just the lettering. Show, uh, lighting at nighttime. Uh, the same with the small panel on the bottom for the ATM. Um, and again, it's just going to be replacement faces in the existing structure that's already there. Uh, the second one. Uh, this is the ATM machine that's, I believe, on the side of the building. Uh, the sign right above the ATM, uh, again, is just going to be a replacement face. That is an illuminated sign, and the background also is opaque. And then the panel up above it is just a flat aluminum panel with a decal uh, to show the logo. That does not light up. And again, it's just replacing everything that's already existing. Good. Uh, there's a small aluminum panel next to the door. Again, this will just replace to change the logo. Uh, again, same size, same structure, and that's a non-illuminated uh, panel next to the door. How, how's that sign hung? Uh, it's attached, it's a panned aluminum sign, so okay. there's like an aluminum bracket already on the wall, and the mounting is on the sides and the top. So this will just, the faceplate will come off and a new faceplate okay. will go we on. We won't see any You won't see any mounting or, or brackets, okay. no. Great. And this is on uh, the other side of the door, and it's made in the same manner, same construction, aluminum panel, just replacing, again, the name like for like. Great. Um, these next, there's a couple, I think they have four directional signs throughout the property. There's, I think, at each entrance. That's two of them. There's, the next page is two more. And again, they're just going to be replacement faces. Panels and everything are the same. And I believe they're non-illuminated, so it's just aluminum panels in the existing structure um, and just replacing faces like for like. That's the same construction identifying where the parking is, um, drive up, and also the exit. And that's the exit only. And then there's one more, which also directs people towards the entrance, or the drive up banking and the drive up ATM. And then the last one in the packet is the parking sign. And they're just small aluminum panels on posts, and they'll just replace the existing signs, again, just to change the color configuration and the name mm -hmm. to go with their new uh, logo. 
Okay, great. It's pretty basic stuff there. Yep, pretty yeah, pretty basic. I guess everything that should be opaque, you'll make mm -hmm. opaque and, and no hidden fastener set. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Any questions from the board? No. Comments? No Very straightforward. Yeah. It is. Good application. Who would like to make the motion? Cindy? Or, excuse me, uh, Lisa? Lisa. Okay. Sure. Okay. I'm in the matter of DRB 2014-09. Um, I move that the all of the replacement signs for Fist Bank um, be approved as submitted. Okay. Do we hear a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Great. Any questions for us? You're nope, okay? I'm good. Okay. Great. Thank I you. I love these Thank acorns. You. I mean, that's acorn and leaves. I've just been thinking, where can I put this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just so it's a great logo. Yeah. Cool. It's a giant sticker for you know, mm -hmm. there you big go. kids. <laughs> okay, last on our agenda tonight is DRB 2014 10, the application of our day. That's Stara. <laughs> Osteria. Okay. Osteria. Sorry about that. I know I was going to butcher that. 133 North Wayne Avenue in Wayne for a wall sign and a window sign and facade renovation. Hi, Brian. Good, Brian. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Did you get that pizza oven in place? Oh, yes. Yeah. Very Did exciting you... day for those of us on North Wayne. Yes, yes very exciting. We learned a lot about forklifts. <laughs> I don't want to see a forklift at all. <laughs> no, Joe was describing. I guess, did you see my husband come in there? He's, yeah, he, he's I mean, a... Honestly, he probably would say, you know, there's so many people screaming, this poor guy is working the forklift. Yeah. They challenge with it. Making sure that it doesn't crack all the tile. Well, oh. custom, uh, and it came in from Italy. So there was no wow. like options like when it was coming, when they told us it was here, we got put in. So the guy, the first forklift that came, it was not uh, big enough to lift up the pizza. So we had to get another one. So then we told the guy that's doing the forklift how much the pizza oven was. He was very careful with it. About eight different people are telling them how to do, you know, be, do this, be gentle, do this. Or he was so nervous with it. But then your husband came in, he gave us one little Brian. pointer over there, and he got this up like this, and it was done. So, uh, well, uh, all right. How cool is that? He was just pretty excited to be. That, you know, I said to him at lunchtime, "You might want to go up there. They're putting the pizza." I mean, on. Be off, I Actually, want to, want to spin it. around. Yeah, I want to see okay. the oven. Okay, great. All right, so I think everybody knows that this is a new Italian restaurant coming in on North Wayne Avenue at the old Pear Tree location. Yes. So, Brian, you want to identify yourself, and maybe the other two gentlemen also can let us know who they are? Sure. Um, Brian Inoviak of Sign Studios, uh, Scott Stein, and Todd. I'm not going to... Uh, Todd Womelstor, uh, Patty P. Designs. Great. Okay. And there's a handheld mic up there for you guys if you need it, so... And this is uh, their restaurant, the uh, Arte Osteria oh. Pizzeria, is actually going uh, into the same uh, building of Paratory. Hey. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And the. Thank you. Can you hear me? And the um, material is a cast aluminum, it's a uh, solid cast aluminum. Um, uh, the thickness of the letters are approximately three quarters of an inch thick. I, I passed out a sample for you to look at the actual letters. Uh, they're drilled on the back and threaded, and then we affix a, a solid stainless steel stud on the back, and it's affixed directly into the fascia of the building. What they're doing is they're proposing to change the color of the fascia. Right now it's a, uh, a muted green color, um, and they want to paint it black, uh, and uh, that way the uh, brushed uh, aluminum letters will really pop right off of that, that facade. Uh, on the corner uh, of the building, uh, we are proposing to put a 20.75 uh, by 20.75 round 
Redwood sign. Uh, the Redwood is V-cut groove uh, for both the logo and the text. Um, the very edge of the uh, Redwood sign, uh, we're gonna, we want to paint uh, the same color as the metal letter. Uh, as you look at the front of the sign, you won't see that metal, but from the side you will, and that way it'll separate itself uh, from the, the black, uh, or the black area. All right, so why don't we concentrate on the front of the building first, sure. okay? So, um, so you're gonna put a new, you're gonna paint the background or you're gonna put a new panel up? Uh, no, it's gonna be painted. It's gonna be painted, uh, it, it's gonna be repaired and painted. Okay, and how about all the other trim on the building? Uh, that's all gonna be painted as well. All black? All black, okay. and you should have a color chip uh, that Todd included in the packet there, Actually, with the uh, elevations and the rendering. Okay, right. I think it's and it looks right. like you're gonna have a red yeah. door. Red, red door. A red door, black. yes. Okay. All right. I think it looks really dramatic. I have the red chip awesome. too with me. I think it's, quite it's a great look. It is. It is a great look, isn't it? It's a nice yeah. anchor for the top of the street there. Yeah. We wanted to something to stand out a little bit, so we hope the red door. We've had a lot of success with red doors in the past, and we it's hope inviting. that gives some good karma. Pop. Does our day meet, mean <clears throat> something? It means actually to burn. To burn? Flame. Right. What's the menu? This, I'm just not to be off topic. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds well, you know, good. What's the menu? We're a little hungry. Let, let's do the... the you know, to tell you the signage, and then we'll go back at the end, and it can okay. give her a uh, okay. little sales pitch, all right? Okay. Okay, good. All right, so, all right, so you're going to paint all the exterior? Yes. And red red door? Yes. Okay. And, Brian, the letter height? Uh, the letter height varies. Uh, our day uh, is 17 inches, uh, just because if you look at the accent mark and measure the accent that's over the E, uh, it's uh, 17 inches from the very top of that accent mark to the very bottom of the the oval area. Uh, Osteria is approximately eight inches, and the ampersand is 18.8 .8 inches. It's a decorative element, and we're just asking, you know, if you would allow us to, to do that. Just it kind of separates the Osteria and Pizzeria, and at the same time ties into the logo. It kind of matches what we did with um, across the street with the logo. The Paulos. Paulos. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. If you, if you take off the uh, accent, how, how high are the signs? If you take off the accent? If you take off the accent, uh, the, the Ostria Pizzeria is 8 inches high. No, the uh, no, Arne. Oh, the Arne is 17 inches. 17, okay. Oh, yeah, without the accent? Right. 16 inches. 16. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I think it looks great. I think it looks just fits the space well. Mm -hmm. um, the letters are so light that, yeah, it's very... Um, very nice. I mean, if you really want to get authentic, I'm Italian. We don't use the ampersand in Italian. We use E. So it would be Osteria, A, Pizzeria. You're going to confuse the uh, people who have only one language. <laughs> right. If my partner was here, I'd have him back drawing tomorrow with the E on there because he'd be like, you see? The Italian, <laughs> they know good taste. You tell them. Yeah. Right? I'll make sure I share it with them later. We can. Okay. Yeah, we, but that's right. actually our logo. Yes. Uh, so. Okay. The goose next you're showing are there. Yes. Are they there uh, now or? They're the. You should have a drawing of of the goose necks. Okay. Are they the the lamps that are in place now or something in that no, location? There, there are no goose necks there. Uh, we did the goose necks for out there outfitters. Mm -hmm. If you're familiar oh, with that. Oh yeah. And they're the same goosenecks, but we can modify. I, we, we actually, uh, I, I have a drawing in there for goosenecks, and Todd has a drawing in there for goosenecks. The only difference is the shape of the, the actual head of the, the gooseneck. Are you only but gonna but be either one would work. Two, or, or is there going to be three? Uh, just two in the fascia of okay. the building. Is it going to look, look, look a little dark in the middle there, or not? Well, so, there's a lot of light at night from that, okay. that street sign. Okay. If, if you look at the A in Pizzeria, there's a street sign that's right there, and that mm -hmm. really lights up the whole fascia. As a matter of fact, when Pear Tree uh, was there, we had no lights for them because it was so bright. Right. Mm -hmm. And you did their sign, I believe. I right? did. Yes. That's kind of your spot. Yeah. <laughs> you should get a discount if you already did the sign. Now, if you want to give them some examples, you say pasta e fagioli, sala e pepe, salt and pepper. Okay. Aglio e aglio. Okay. So, so what we're looking at in this cut isn't exactly what's going to go up there, though. 
Yes. A, it, it is. It is exactly. Oh, uh, of the, for that this stunt? Is, this is the. Oh, well, uh, there's, there's two examples. There's one, ex there's one example in one packet, and then there's another one in the other. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just a different head. Okay. What uh, color are they going to be painted? I like it. It's very European. Mm -hmm. There's another one. Like so there's not, actually yeah. nothing in the original. This is all new. Okay. So it would be the one in the first packet that I gave you, the, the very end. Okay. You'll, you'll see it. All right, just so oh, for okay. the touch of files, Wait, is that we're clear? This, it'll that be this one, one right there, yes. This one. This, yes. Is this oh, is out, what Out There Outfitters has? Something uh, like I, Whatever. Similar. I like this. I don't need It doesn't have to be what yeah. they have. That'll look really nice, okay. I think. And it'll be mounted like this in this drawing. There's, I mean, this photo. Yes, it'll be mounted right directly onto the brick fascia. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You guys happy with the front facade and everything? No problem. Brian, you're I okay am. with the front? Yes. Okay. Lisa, Cindy? I like it. Okay. All right. Any questions for us on the front? Mm -hmm. Black paint, red door. What we see is what we're going to get. Right. Okay. Exactly. You got it. All right. And then the next, okay. the next sign is the. Could I show you another element uh, that we yeah, for sure. are thinking about? Sure. That is a corner property, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they do. They yeah, they're, 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 they're going to have a little sign. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Were we not? I need to say um, just, just an I a thought. Uh, and I don't know if you can see that really well. I'll wait till they zoom in on it. There's a faint red line above yeah. Arde. And what we were thinking of doing is just burying, burying in a 42-inch piece of neon, a ruby red. It's actual real ruby from Italy. Very just to authentic. give it a nice glow over the R day. Yeah. I think that would you look, won't, it won't a nice look like a line. It'll just look like a nice glow over the, and, and the, the metal, because it's brushed, mm -hmm. it'll pick up that glow. And it will look really yeah. nice. So you didn't do down the street. There's a restaurant that um, just has brushed <coughs> aluminum letters on the brick wall, and there's green light behind it. That kind of. Do you know where the one I'm talking about? I, I it's a uh, Spanish record. Uh, Zalantro. 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 No, yeah. I, I, there's. Isn't that what they're? I don't know if you've noticed their sign, but it's letters like this mounted on the on the brick wall, and then there's a a light behind it. it just gives yeah. like a little bit of a green right. glow behind there, sort of a neon green. What, I mean, I mean what, what are you looking for there? What kind of effect? Like a racing stripe effect or a little? Uh, just a little bit of a glow. Okay. So do you have a photo you can bring it up? Just we could pass it down that shows it? Well, here it is. Sure. Oh. oh yeah, is that in my packet? packet. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, I got that. Yeah. Got it, got it. Sorry about that. Yeah. I feel like being all the way up there on top. Mm -hmm. It's just a little pinch. Nice it's just a nice just little, a little yeah. accent. accent. A little glow on the logo. And with the red door. Exactly. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, awesome. is there any reason you can't do that? No. Just a little accent It's not piece. like the letters are illuminated, yeah. I mean, from behind or anything. I think that's a nice accent. And there, there will be like a little bit of wooden trim right above there to hide the glass. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it would go all the way across, so you wouldn't see it. But the, it would just the accent would the R day. The wood would be painted black. Black, also. Yeah. yes. So it will be tucked up underneath? It will be tucked up, tucked up underneath okay. with uh, some clear view standoffs okay. and, and done. All, right. all you well listed and labeled components. Is that a little bit of a game time decision, or do you think you definitely want to go with that? Um, I, I know we yeah. talked about that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the only concern is there's a lot of light over there with the light out front. Would mm -hmm. it wash out? Yeah, and that's like the only thing that we were talking yeah. about. And I mean, our whole thing is, I told you before, we're all the way at the top up there. We mm -hmm. wanted to have like a little something that like a little glow mm -hmm. on the logo, especially just especially what cilantro does down the street. Mm -hmm. So if we can make that work on there, I mean, we would like to go forward with it. Yeah, I don't think it'll wash out with the black, but I don't know with that with the street yeah. light, but that's at the end of the building. I think if it if it's done with the Technolux neon, neon because it's it's real, I mean the the real ruby. Yeah. It's uh it's not like a painted glass. So wouldn't you be inclined to say 
we leave it up to that. We approve I, it either I, I way. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I mean, how do, you, how do you guys feel? Do you like that element? Oh, yeah. I'll yeah, I think it'll add to it. Okay. Okay, good. Well, everyone's just getting hungry is what the problem is. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll, give you, we'll, we'll give you the leeway if okay. you decide you want to do it. You know, right. It doesn't sound like you're 100% sold on it, but right. you're considering yeah. the idea. Okay. Okay. Lighted. Thank you. All right, good. Thank you. Okay, good. All right, so we, should we move around to the corner then? Yeah. And then the, the corner would be the, um, uh, the hanging sign. Projecting sign. Yes. Okay. All right, there's, there's so a the lot of... So the decorative scroll bracket. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of, you know, this was something that wasn't allowed until just a couple of years ago yeah. with Correct. the Wayne Business Overlay District. So there's a lot of language within the code about that little sign. So we just want to make sure that you meet all the specifications right. in, in the code book on that. Yeah, we just yeah. wanted something to capture that corner because people are coming yeah. out of the train station. No, I think it's people good. are turning into the train station. Mm -hmm. They're also stopped at that light. And it's just a nice, uh, instead of rubbernecking, it's a nice way of, mm -hmm. of communicating right. their business uh, to those two traffic areas. Okay, so just a couple of things. So it can't be any lower than nine feet or higher than 12 feet. Right. So looks like you're- 10 foot. You're, you're in there. Uh, you, can't swing, you can't swing. Four foot uh, maximum square footage. Right, and we're way, well within that, we're at three foot. Yeah, you're at three foot, okay. And it's gotta be between 12 and 30 inches in width which you are, mm -hmm. uh, pin mounted at least two inches from the building and no more than six inches off the building. Right. Um, wood or metal, no vinyl or plastic. So uh, kind of- it's, it's actually solid California hard grain redwood. Uh, okay. Everything's engraved. Uh, well, it's routed, it's V-cut groove is, is the terminology. Okay. M metal bracket. And no. the bracket uh, is solid metal. Okay. Uh, angle iron, and it's powder coated. It's not painted, so okay. uh, it, that protects it from rust. Like Tony mentioned, it's not allowed to swing. Right. It's and not it, swinging. And it's not a, allowed to be illuminated either. Correct. Okay. All right. So it looks like you meet the parameters on that. Oh, good. Okay. So the text on the sign itself? Uh, it's just the logo again. It's it's uh, one right here. I blew it up here. Our day, Austrian pizzeria. I think Are that actually, I think, it adds, I, I think it adds to the corner kind of commit to Yeah. Okay. You guys like it? Like okay. It. Ryan, you all right with that? Yeah. Okay. You don't want a little red accent on there? <laughs> I, would love, I would love to light it up, right? <laughs> I think it looks great. Yeah, I, I like think it that. does too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All right, so it looks like we have another sign on the back of the building? I uh, wanted to do something in reference to the parking. The landlord was really concerned of people parking in the back. So basically a dual purpose uh, to communicate to people, you know, hey, don't park there in a nice way. Mm -hmm. That parking for the restaurant is actually in the front of the building. I, now, Scott, you're going to have a lunch business as well as dinner, right? Absolutely. Okay. I, I would think at, at dinner time most people are going to park in the train station lot and just walk over or not. Well, yeah, I mean, I would assume a lot of people will park there. You know, lunch will be a, a scramble, but. I'll tell you what, if you don't put a sign there or something, I hate to say it, but since we own a building that backs up and has parking behind it, we went through, we had trouble with people parking there, and I just put a little sign in the window that you buy. It just says, buy, you know, you'll be towed if you park here. Um, so I think this is a much nicer way to do it than I should rethink mine. But I do think, you know, you'll find yeah. people, I just pulled in for a minute, they always say, you know, yeah. sure. Okay, so is it a little metal sign or? Right, okay. and it would be, everything is flush mount. I mean, there's no exposed hardware. It's okay. done with shell and hanger. Okay, naturally no lighting. No lighting. So it's be more effective during the day than right. at night. Mm -hmm. You guys all right with that? Yes. Uh, just look at his kind of a directional sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So also in your application, and you wanted to, uh, and maybe you already addressed that about the um, rear directional sign, corner sign. Actually, I think it said facade. Facade change, and I guess is it yeah, your yes, facade change? Yeah, yes, talk about side, that. Right? Side. As far as putting some 
uh, goosenecks on the side of the building. It's, it's a rather large building, mm -hmm. uh, and also changing out the one window. Well, uh, okay, so this would be the facade renovation as such? Yeah, okay. uh, yes. We were, we're proposing. Okay, and you're, you're the architect then? Uh, designer. Designer, okay. I heard it was going to go down to like 33 mm. degrees tonight or something. Oh, good. With the rain, that'll be good. Yeah, all right. 68 tonight. Free ice. Oh. Free ice, yeah. to do is to above okay. uh, why, don't, why don't you let us know who you are to and which uh, firm you're with uh, Todd Wimmelsdorf with Patty P Designs uh, we're handling the, the renovation and the, the fit out for our day uh, for the front we're just proposing there's a series of opaque windows uh, just right below the transom and we would just like to switch them out to clear double pane windows to just to match the, the picture windows below uh, and then also, along with the signage, to paint everything black. Uh, and then on the side, right now, there are, we would like to switch out the five existing windows. For the first large window, we just want to make it one uh, single pane of glass. No, uh, we don't want it to be divided light anymore. And then the next uh, three windows, we would like to drop the sills just to make them a taller window, use the existing lintel. We don't want to widen them at all. Mm -hmm. uh, no real structural work. Uh, and then for the final window, because that falls within our kitchen area, we'd like to just close it. Uh, and we were just going to use the brick that we get from dropping the sills right. to then fill mm -hmm. that in so mm -hmm. all the brick matches. Good idea. Uh, and they would just be fixed casement windows, no, we, no nothing open. operable. Uh, and then on the side, we would just like to add four gooseneck lights to match what's going to happen in the front. Same, same exact style? Yes. OK. Oh, that would be nice, because that's I kind of a walkway along that's there. A walkway. Just, yeah, mm -hmm. light it up a little bit and all. Yeah. It's such a good idea to lower those windows, yeah. too, because when you're sitting inside, you know, it's just mm -hmm. be nice to be able to look out and look in. You get yeah. off the train, that place could look pretty inviting. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. OK. Yeah, sure. and it's the, that whole side uh, just receives uh, light from the north, so anything we can do to improve the lighting, natural lighting inside, we want it to you know, okay. increase that. Are you, you going to do anything to the back? Does, does the back need any renovations or anything like that, the back mm -hmm. of the building? No, we weren't. Gonna, okay. Uh, because that's all our service and employee areas, so okay. there's not any customer areas in the rear. Okay. All right. You guys all right with that? That's great. I, am. I, have a, I have a question. On this photo, I can see the word Arde on the side of the building. Is that? Oh, yeah, that's that stretch. Oh, no, pardon me. Never mind. I never said it. Okay. Okay. Those front transoms, the ceilings above them, obviously, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's pretty high ceilings in there. I think uh, it starts at 11 feet. So it's well, it's well above those windows. Okay. Actually, on your application, you also say window sign. Is there a window sign? Uh, uh, on the door, uh, uh, they wanted to put a small logo with just their, their hours of operation. Okay. As long as it's under the 20% yeah. roll. Yeah, it's and their address, okay. right? Is the address yeah, that's a, Yeah, that's a good point. Your address number needs to be visible. I don't know where you want to put it, okay. but um, whether it's on the door or somewhere. Okay. Um, I'm sure you guys want to do outside dining, yes. and you, you know you'll have to come back to the board for that. Yes. Okay. I mean, it, we need to show a plan or have a table. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, look in the code book. It's everything's laid out pretty clearly. Okay. So, all right. Would you just suggest to us just file again? Yeah, I believe they'll have to refile. Correct for outside dining. Okay. okay. All right. Perfect. When 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 do you expect to open? 
good Okay, question. not next month. No, not next month. Okay. We have a little bit of time. Okay. At least uh, we'll get on that right away. Okay, well, the sooner you come back for the outside dining, you know, we want one thing out of the way, so. But you think it'll be open by summer, right? Oh, yeah. They do everything in the palace. Right. Right. It's got one other thing. I know everybody does it, and we always tell them not to do it. You're not allowed to put up sandwich boards. Okay. So, <laughs> but everybody does it, but we're telling you, you can't do it. Okay. So. I was like the sandwich board police. Well, I mean, it's not working. I'm a lousy cop. I know, cop. I know. Yeah. I was just going to say. You're right. But he likes to mention it. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. Somewhere on the door somewhere if you like to have the... Hey, your mic's off. Turn. Turn. Your mic's... Your microphone's off. We like to have the street number. Yeah. I think yeah, we're going to cover that. Right. Okay. And just, I just thought about it, too. Do people put mailboxes out? Like, for right now, where do we, where do we put a mailbox? They'll, they'll I, don't, I don't know. Directly. They'll come right I mean, I have a little mailbox attached to my building. It, you know, it's just not great looking. You know, it's, okay. Some people put a mail slot in the door. But we'll be open all the time during mail delivery. Yeah, that's right. They'll just, they'll just walk in. Right now, yeah. just to keep something temporary. Until oh, wouldn't on. that be a good idea? I guess yeah. check with the post office, see what they would want. You know. Okay. Well, yeah. Just yeah. 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 You can probably get a simple one at you know the, the hardware store and just hang it temporarily. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, hey Brian, the one thing I would ask you to do is, yes. is maybe just if you can just um, pick out uh, uh, the different sheets of paper for the township uh, files. So if you're going to go with the, the red stripe, make okay, sure you have sure. a copy of that. Okay. A copy of the correct uh, gooseneck lighting. Okay. Just just for the files, we've got a lot of information here. Sure. So yeah, just okay. go through it. Okay. Okay. Or Scott, whoever you know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other questions about? building the signage the lighting facades anything you guys all right with that yes okay before we make a approval want to give us a minute commercial on the on the new restaurant sure okay um been a lot of questions with what's going on with our day osteria pizzeria um we are an osteria um not just a you know there's a lot of pizza in wayne we're just not your typical pizza place where you want to go in the traditional go get a large pizza with pepperoni and a two liter we have a wood fire oven that we had flown in from italy that was custom built there we cook everything it, it cooks actually in about 90 seconds um, the pizza that we cook in there we use all artesian products and cheese that uh, my partners have uh, developed a relationship. Actually, one of them right now is in Italy and it's from a Buffalo mozzarella farm. So we bring this cheese in that we struggle mm -hmm. every week to get in uh, from Italy, which is, it's an, it makes an amazing pizza. But we're gonna have a full menu there. I'm oh, sorry, okay. full menu. And um, we'll have uh, pastas, entrees, salads. I've seen some of you have been to our other restaurant in Andorra and it will be a very similar style. So uh, it's BYO. Yeah, we're going to stick. We're very committed. BYOB. Um, you know, uh, how about you know, the bread? What kind of bread do you have? So the big story with the bread is Antimo de Mayo has created a recipe that he created himself. It took about eight months to develop it. We make that bread every single day. Um, it's an artesian bread and it's naturally leavened and it's made with special flour. It's similar to the flour that we use with the pizza dough, but the process, the labor that goes into the bread, it's an eight hour process that we do every single day. And it's obviously complimentary uh, with dinner and lunch when you come in and eat it. But people now actually come in and buy loaves of it. But the, the amazing part of bread is, um, you know, some people like just eating hot bread right out of the oven. This kind of bread, it's just, it's crispy on the outside. It's got a nice chew inside. And I, I can hands down tell you, uh, you can't get bread like this a anywhere in Philadelphia. So except I've, except I you can get it now. You'll be able to get it in Wayne, <laughs> and you'll be able to get it in Roxborough. That was like location. poetry, wasn't it? Bread poetry. <laughs> so. Okay, great. And all the pastas, uh, a lot of them are made by hand. We use a special dry cut from Gragnano, which is the best dry uh, pasta region in the world, and uh, we have that come in from Italy, and. Uh, you know, entrees, uh, everything's going to be, we, 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 we pride ourselves on affordable sophistication. Our prices are moderate and uh, we're family friendly and we hope we're uh, a good addition to the street. Look forward to having you. Be. Good. Sounds yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. 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 Okay, good. Well, thank you all guys. Right. Any other sure. questions for our board? You guys all right? Okay. Who would like to make a motion? You want to do it? 
In matter of DRB 2014-10, Ar de Osteria, uh, everything is approved as submitted with the exceptions. You'll be adding a neon stripe on the main facade above the R day and the gooseneck lighting is approved as submitted. I think the, the, the strip is up to them. The neon is We're gonna give them the to be decided. That. Yeah, we said. Yeah, if they want to do it, we've approved it, but they don't yeah. have to do it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we gave you the approval to do it if you want to do it. Okay. okay. And we approved the angle reflector wall sconce and the um, flag sign uh, as submitted. Okay. Do we hear a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thanks, gentlemen. Lots of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Looking good yeah, tonight. Nice when do you Thank open? Yeah. Please open. We're, we're <laughs> the, the, the goal is late May, early June. Mm. Nice. That'd be great. So the first pizza will roll out nice in May, tree. right? Good. The end of May. Good. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Oh, that's going to look great. Okay. Thank you. Nice Thank little you exciting. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. See you soon. Appreciate Thanks, Brian. Okay. Good to Have see you, Brian. Soon. Take care. Okay, we'll make a final call for DRB 2014-07, Mainline Center for the Family Building. Doesn't look like they're here, so they'll have to reapply for next month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any old business for the board? Public participation? Doesn't look like anybody's here. Motion for adjournment? I move that we adjourn. Second that. Thank you.